Numerical Expressions. Fifth grade, chapter one, lesson 10. Unlock the problem. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that has numbers and operation signs but does not have an equal sign. Tyler caught 15 small bats and his dad caught 12 small bats in the Memorial Bass Tournament in Pennsylvania. Write a numerical expression to represent how many fish they caught in all. So you need to join groups of different sizes. So use addition. So they put 15 plus 12. So 15 plus 12 represents how many fish they caught in all. Example 1, write an expression to match the words addition. Emma has 11 fish in her aquarium. She buys four more fish. So they did 11 plus 4. Subtraction. Lucia has 128 stamps. She uses 38 of the stamps on party invitations. So basically, they're showing that she used something, so that means she's going to subtract, subtract or take away, right? So 128 minus 30. Multiplication. Carla buys five books. Each book costs three dollars. So how many books did she buy? Five. Five. And then they said that you would multiply by three dollars. So sometimes make sure you have to put in your label with it, right? Okay, division. Four players share 52 cards equally. So how many cards were there? 52. Divided by how many players? Four. Four. Expressions with parentheses. The meaning of the words in a problem will tell you where to place the parentheses in the expression. Doug went fishing for three days. Each day he put $15 in his pocket. At the end of each day, he had $5 left. How much money did Doug spend by the end of the trip? So we know that the $15 is also correlated with the $5. So they said 15 minus $5, and then we know that each of those, that was for three different days. So we have to take that times three. three. Okay. So example three, which problem matches the expression $20 minus $12 plus $3? And when you see parentheses, you always do the thing in the parentheses first, right? Kim has $20 to spend for her fishing trip. She spends $12 on a fishing pole. Then she finds $3. How much money does Kim have now? Okay. Or Kim has $20 to spend for a fishing trip. She spends $12 on a fishing pole and $3 on bait. How much money does Kim have now? Okay. So there are two different things. But we need to figure out which one goes with um, which question, okay? So we have on the first one, it says, first, Kim has $20, right? Next, what happens? Okay. okay so spins $12. Then she does what? Times three dollars. Okay. Over. So do those words match the expression? No, because it would be what you're going to do first, right? So no. Then over here, Kim has twenty dollars. Next, she does what? Okay, so she spends twelve dollars, and then she what? And then she spends three dollars. So do the words match the expression? No. Yes. yes. Now, why does this? Why does the first one not, and this one does? Because what do we do? We do the parentheses what? First. Sorry. First. So we would have $20 minus what? Fifteen. No, Fifteen. Because I would take 12 plus 3, right? So if I went and did this, would she be with this problem or expression that they gave us first? Would she be spending the three dollars or finding three dollars? Finding. She would be spending three dollars, right? Because.
because we do the parentheses first, if we did 20 minus 12, what would we have? Eight, and then finding three more gets us what? Eleven. Eleven. So this answer would have eleven dollars. Okay. Over here, she has twenty dollars to spend. She spends twelve. So what did we say we'd have left? Eight dollars. And then she spends three more. So what would we have left? Five dollars. So which one matches that equation? The second one, right? Is if you did the parentheses first, you're adding those two prices that she spent. Yes, at first when you look at it, it says plus three, so that does make you think it would be the first one, right? Okay, but since that minus sign is before the parentheses, it's how much she's getting rid of, right? Okay, all right, Sharon shows circle the expression that matches the word. Terry has 18 words. She gave four worms to Susie and three worms to Jamie. So. Before we subtract, what would we have to do? Add the 4 and the 3. So which one goes with that equation? The second one. Okay. Rick had $8. He then worked 4 hours for $5 each. Okay. So what would we do first in that problem? Four times five, and then we would add the eight. Okay, so which expression shows that? The first one. Write an expression to match the words. Greg drives 26 miles on Monday and 90 miles on Tuesday. So, what do we need to underline, guys? Um, 26, 26 miles. miles and 90 miles on Tuesday. So, are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Add. Add. So I'm going to write what? 26 plus 90. 26 plus 90. Now, do I have to put an equal sign? No. No, because we said that a numerical expression does not have a equal sign, right? Okay. Linda has 27 fewer fish than Jack. Jack has 80 fish, so what do we need to underline? Well, Jack, 80 fish, right? And then Linda, 27 fewer, right? So the word fewer tells us we're going to subtract. So what am I going to write? 80 Now, do we have to have labels when we're writing these expressions? No. No. Now, if we got an answer, would we have to have that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Write words to match the expression. So they said 34 minus 17. So could we kind of go back and use an example from four, just replace the numbers? Yeah. Okay, so we could say Linda has what? What am I going to say? Has 17 fewer fish and Jack has what? 34. Okay. Now on number six, does that really match number three? No. So we're going to have to kind of come up with our own idea. Now, if we needed to, could we maybe look back to some of our previous questions? Yes. yes. Okay. So for number six, we came up. With, for six days, Rick caught 12 fish, but had to throw four back in. And then, of course, we added each time to that, so that we knew that would, the 12 and the 4 would go together, right? Okay. Now, you guys are going to do on your own with your partners, so 7 through 12, you guys are going to do that. And actually, you're going to do 7 through 13 with your partners, okay? And on 13, all you do is you draw lines to match them up, correct? <coughs> okay. Hello. Problem solving. Use the rule on the table for 14. Write a numerical expression to represent the total number <coughs> number of lemon tetras that could be in a 20 gallon aquarium. So, how many could be in a 20 gallon aquarium? Two. Okay, well, it says each tetra is what? 
two inches, and then you have the twenty gallon aquarium. So we would take twenty, and then we add, subtract, multiply, divide, divide. So we would write twenty divided by two. Number fifteen, hot problem. It says write a word for an expression that is three times as great as fifteen plus seven. Then write the expression. So we came up with the word problem. Rick caught fifteen fish in the morning and seven fish in the afternoon for three days. So we said that our equation then would be three times parentheses fifteen plus seven in the parentheses. So when we went to work it, we would do fifteen plus seven first, and then take that times three. So you always do parentheses first. Number 16, what's the question? Blue has three swordfish, or sword tails, in her aquarium. She buys two more sword tails. So this should say how many sword tails. Does she have all together? Number 17, hot problem. Tammy gives 45 cents to her nine friends. She, ser she shares them equally among her friends. Write an expression to match the words. How many cents does each friend get? So what do we need to underline? She has 45 cents, and she gives them to nine friends. Now, does that include her? No. No, because did she, does it say they split them up with her? No. She gave them to her friends, right? And then they want us to write an expression to match the words. And then how many stamps does each friend get? So what expression would we use? 45 divided by 9. Okay? Because do we need parentheses? No, there's only two things, so we know it'll just go in that order, right? So 45 divided by 9, and then what would be the answer? 5. 5 stamps. And don't forget your your label or you miss it right number 18 Josh has three fish in each of five buckets then he releases four fish which expression matches the word so he has what three fish, three fish five buckets or in each of five buckets right then he releases four okay so what would we do first Five times three, right? Okay, so that would have to be in what? Parentheses. So if we don't see a five times three in parentheses, that isn't going to be it, right? And then it says that he releases four. So would that be subtracting four? Yes. So letter C. 